Okay, so as you guys know, Moose Shops. Well, one of the issues with the shop is it was built before 1996, I believe. And the 220 outlet is what they consider the old um, range style 220 plug I believe is what they call it and they that stopped being code in 96 or something I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments so what I need to do today in order to get my welders and my plasma cutter running is come up with a way to go from that outlet to the out the plugs on my equipment and I want to do it without taking that receptacle apart or having to bother someone or have to wire something. So I'm gonna come up with a solution. So I think I got something. I'll show you guys. Maybe you run into this kind of situation too. And uh, we can figure it out and get through it. So let's check it out. This is the plug on my Everlast equipment. All three pieces of equipment use this same plug. And if you look, doesn't even come close to lining up. So, so I wanna do this without having to change anything on that receptacle. I'm not changing the ends on the cords for my equipment either. So, the best way to do that some sort of adapter now I mentioned that the existing receptacle is the old style range plug for 220 so I picked this up from Lowe's I think it's gonna work um, we'll see and then I picked up the receptacle it's a surface mount outlet You'll see it better when I get it out of the packaging, but if you're doing the same thing at home, it's the Utilitec 0423829, and the co cord is Utilitec 0148715. Um, the goal is to take this, which will go into a receptacle in the wall, and then using these terminals mount it to this receptacle. Of course I'll put all the pieces I use in the description. Looks like we're going to have to cut these connectors off. And I just need to strip the ends down to the conductor so we can get connectivity to our lugs. Now what I need to do is take the supplied screws, we'll run them to this plate and screw it onto one of the studs on the wall. We've got it firmly attached to this stud. 
It is not plugged in yet. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on. All right, then the next thing to do is plug our cord into our receptacle. So now that receptacle should be hot. And all I should need to do now is plug in one of our wellers to make sure it turns on. this for a while I can unplug it and if I go to move unplug it take the cover off take the screws out take it with me or leave it here for whoever comes behind me depending on what they need to plug in they've got a couple options so that was that pretty quick pretty simple um, again I'm no master electrician or anything like that so do your own research if this is something you're not comfortable with, seek professionals. Seek a professional's help. Until next time, guys, get up, get out there, and do it.